now you understand the power of dark side. Your weakness is your undoing. What's up guys, this is Lucky, welcome back, and today we are going to be talking Battlefront, and we're going to get real, and we're going to get totally down to it, and talk about what's really wrong with Battlefront, and where does it really need to be fixed. And I know there's a lot of negativity about this game, um, and it, a lot of it is really undeserved, so no, I'm not going to be talking about how casual it is, although I may make a slight mention of it. I, I love the game that DICE has given us. Like, I, it's so much fucking fun. I'm having a fucking blast in this game, and it's really fun. It is a great, great Star Wars game. That doesn't mean it's without issues, but I'm not going to be talking about not enough content or $50 season pass. You know, I actually addressed some of that stuff in, in a previous video. You know, maybe it's a little light, maybe it's not. I think it's pretty fair value. You know, I would like to have a little bit more, and there probably should be a little bit more. But it's not as bad as people seem, and the season pass is very reasonably priced. And they didn't, I don't feel like they held content out. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. And I'm not here to talk about the stuff from Battlefront 2 that's not in it. Like fucking, oh my god, space battles, I'm gonna have space battles. Or the fact that there's not a single player campaign because that was advertised and personally I would prefer that they focus on multiplayer because we've got you know they have hired Disney and EA they formed a studio with Jade Raymond who uh, did the Assassin's Creed series Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed 1 back when Assassin's Creed was really freaking good and they hired the writer of Uncharted Amy Herrig and it's going to be fucking awesome they're gonna make a single player campaign for all Star Wars fans so that's coming and I I am excited I like the idea that studios are gonna focus more on multiplayer only or single player only titles and I don't have to have both to get my value I've got as much playtime out of Battlefront already that I got out of Witcher 3 and any other single player title that I've had this year so Personally, I think it's fair value, and I've had a lot of blast playing it, but that's not the stuff I want to talk about, because there are issues. There are serious issues, and almost all of them have to do with balance. So I'm going to give you my list of things that I think DICE needs to address and needs to fix as soon as humanly possible to get this game back up on the ground. First off, DICE, there's some issues going on on PC with matchmaking, and... I, I'm going to try to keep most of this stuff across all consoles, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that you have issues on PC with matchmaking and PC players are not being able to find games, and that's a serious deal. Again, not affecting console players, but obviously if people can't play, that's of the utmost importance. And then the rest of the stuff I think I'm going to try to cover, it's across all consoles. But again, we're going to talk and we're going to talk balance. And this is a new game, and it's normal for new titles to have balance issues. But you need to patch these things, and you need to patch these things before the Christmas rush, or as soon as humanly possible, because we've got some balancing issues. First and foremost, uh, fix the fucking A-Wing. That A-Wing hitbox is so small that basically the Rebels completely dominate a fighter squadron. They have complete air supremacy with the A-Wings because that A-Wing hitbox is so small and you have got to address that one to fix that whole mode um, so it's not just it's completely lopsided because you know that it's lopsided and DICE has, DICE has mentioned that they've noticed this issue before and so I know that they're working on it but, but whatever you're doing you need to do it faster second the one hit kills the grenade spam look grenade spam the grenade spam is out of control in this game and like I made a video about Battlefront and is it casual or is it competitive or what I actually think the gunplay is a hell of a lot more challenging than a lot of games because of bullet travel 
Um, now, uh, a guy named Matimo did a pretty in-depth analysis where he like studied the recoil pattern, and actually the Battlefront guns have basically the same bullet spread as what you would find in most guns in Battlefield 4, although they don't have quite the recoil. And I'll get into that later, and I really wouldn't want to see much change there. But the bullet travel speed, honestly, to me, I think it makes it immensely more difficult because you've got to lead your shots, you've got to anticipate your shots, and because you can see the laser coming, that gives a competitive player a chance to duck and weave and maneuver, and I actually think it's a hell of a lot more challenging than <laughs> Destiny or, or tons of other games. Honestly, it is fucking more challenging. Um, but that being said, the biggest reason, biggest problem I have with this game is basically the one-hit kills are out of control and primarily the grenade spam. Um, and I know that DICE, if you're listening to this, I know you want this game to cater uh, to casual people, uh, to younger kids and to the younger generation, but let me just tell you that nobody, nobody likes being killed by homing shot. Well, a homing shot really doesn't bother me, but mainly grenades over and over. There are so many ways to get one-shotted in this game. It's ridiculous. Now, all games have one-hit kills. There's always sniper rifles or molotovs or grenades or anything else, but that said, there is too damn many of them in this game. And let me put it this way. Um, I know Bungie has issues balancing. They ha always have a few guns that are OP. For the most part, they're fairly good. But by contrast, a grenade cooldown in Destiny defaults at around a minute. And its lowest possible cooldown is 33 seconds. That's still twice that is two times longer than your grenades. You have grenades that cool down in 10 seconds. The thermal detonator, once you get it upgraded, cools down in 10 seconds. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculously fast. And you you can fix this so easy. So this, my my after you fix the A-Wing, my number two request, honestly is that basically you double the cooldowns for all explosive items. That includes homing shot, impact grenade, uh, explosive shot, thermal detonators, barrage, across the board. Not only will that reduce the number of grenades out there, I mean that will just reduce their presence just by a little bit. I mean it's not, nobody is gonna miss having their grenade that much it's not going to be that big a deal double those cooldowns and not only that it will make those other star cards more valuable it will make smoke grenade a more viable option it will basically make um <laughs> focus fire and some of the other ones more vi viable valuable options but you've got to double the cooldowns i feel like on those grenades and all explosives you just got to reduce the one hit kills and that's that's just for starters third i know that you have a patch coming that's going to buff the walker on indoor and it is too little too late but honestly that's not enough um the rebels in walker assault which is your prime mode are vastly dominant. They win way more times than the Rebel. There, there have been too many times where n not through the effort of a you know skilled uh, T-47 speeder flyer or or otherwise, where basically the Empire more or less dominated. They shut off most of the uplinks, held the Rebels to you know three or four Y wings a run and uh, the rebels were still somehow able to decimate the walkers walker hell across the board is too low and so not only does the one on indoor need a buff you need to take all of them and add another 20 percent to all of them just to balance this mode because it's gotten ridiculous and it's honestly it's kind of gotten to the point where i'm not even bothered to necessarily play the objective and you want people to play the objective. 
Which brings me to number four. Dice, you put too much emphasis on kills and not enough emphasis on objective. Um, all of your modes are objective based. And so what I would like to see essentially to basically drive home the emphasis is I want to see all objective scoring doubled across the board. Also on uplinks um, in situations where there are uplinks or drop pods, I want to see basically a drip of points, 10 or 25 points every few seconds for people who are there who are defending that uplink and or attacking the uplink. So there needs to be a point drip, you need to double the points for all objective scoring. And I wanna see basically the, the highest objective score brought front and center. Because playing the objective is the most important part and you need to let players know how important that is towards winning the game. Because these, these modes, they're fun modes and they're really fun when you're like playing the objective. So please DICE, let's put a little more emphasis on objective scoring and a little less emphasis on KD. Okay, those are the big four. Now, let's move on. I got to a few more random things about about five to 10 other random things, but those are the big four things I really feel like need to be addressed to balance some key modes. And those are the major issues, basically aside from PC matchmaking, which need to be addressed. Boba, Boba, I'm coming for you, Boba. But anyway, so let's go on. Speaking of Boba Fett, one of the random things I would like to see, and this is this isn't as important, but Shorten, you've already you're going to nerf basically his homing missile. And what I would really like to see then as a balance thing is Shorten, there's a delay between activating his flamethrower and the time it comes on. Get rid of that delay and increase the range on the flamethrower. Because I think you kind of over buff over nerfed him a little bit. And that's another thing I want to say real fast. Please, if you do happen to be listening to this, I'm not asking for huge nerfs. I don't want you to over nerf stuff because people make complaints about the cycler rifle and you've destroyed it. The cycler rifle is trashed now. Which brings me to the cycler rifle. Please buff it back to the way it was. Um, don't don't over nerf these. This is, think of this stuff as like tweaking and minor adjustments. I don't know, you know, a lot of people just wanted you to increase the cooldown on the cycler rifle but you didn't you just you added bullet drop which nobody was really asking for and travel time and it's almost ridiculous now it's like real guns don't even shoot that way so <laughs> you destroyed what was a fun game and you could have just buffed the cooldown so when i say basically improve the cooldowns on these things i want you to improve the cooldown i don't want you to make them useless weapons Keep them a part of the game. Just increase the cooldown so they're not as prevalent. You don't need a grenade every 10 fucking seconds or every 20 seconds for barrage. Make it 30 or 40 seconds. And honestly, the game will work just as good. I mean, so anyway, um, one of the more important ones I would like to see in Fighter Squadron is I personally would like to see hero ships. Basically, I would like to see their health reduced by about 50%. They're in the air way too long. They're far too powerful. Um, you over buffed them since the since whatever the trials that you did. Um, they're, they're crazy powerful and just too powerful. And reduce the point payoff for blowing them up because whoever gets the lucky shot on it at the end gets this huge point payout. And that's not really right. And I mean, everybody contributed to killing the thing. Um, so just reduce that point payoff, um, let more people have it, and just reduce the overall health. I mean, you could cut the health in half and they will be absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, speaking of, <laughs> um, I'm gonna change a little bit to the bounty hunter trait. Um, you've got an additional perk at level three on the bounty hunter trait that resets the cooldown of all your cards and i'm sorry man but getting a power up that is like power that is that is powerful enough as it is adding that just makes this thing 
way OP. There's videos out there of people basically using a jump pack and bowcaster and combining it with that and they're hopping around like crickets just getting kills like crazy and I know that that was not intended and that's ridiculous. And this is the thing, this is the thing Bungie. Even casual players do not like dying over and over to stupid crap. Um, that's why I know you want these players to get kills, but make it more about the gunplay and less about this craziness, you know? I'm, I mean, I'm not personally opposed to jump pack and bowcaster. I just think that people having the ability to do it over and over and over again and hop around like a cricket is a little ridiculous. You need to take that away from that trait card. And that's a balancing issue. Um, minor gun nerfs or tweaks. Um, we t I mentioned earlier about recoil. Um, honestly, and I love the T21, and I hate to even say this, but the T21 and the RT97C, they probably should have a little bit higher recoil. Um, I would also like to see the A280C have less recoil and be more accurate those the t21 and the r297c they have almost the same recoil as the a280 which is a rifle and do but yet they do more damage or have higher fire rates and that's kind of ridiculous the a280c should be a very very focused very precise weapon um, that doesn't do quite as much damage um, or doesn't have quite the rate of fire um, but it doesn't so you need to tighten this recoil and increase the recoil very, 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 ever so very, 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 super very, 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 very little bit. When I say little bit, I mean like very small amount. Don't overdo it. Don't destroy these guns. Just minimal, minimal increase recoil to the T21 and the uh, RT97C and lower the recoil on the A28. Uh, also, the DL44, very powerful gun. I really don't want you to do too much to it, but I do feel like you need to bring its range back a little bit, and you need to buff the range on the DH17, and that could balance those two guns out. I love my DL44, but damn, it's beast. It's really beast. Fucking beast. I don't know a lot of people complain about it, but please don't over nerf it either. It just needs a slight range reduction, and the DH-17 needs a slight range buff. Okay? Um, I feel like Vader needs a slight health buff. Health buff. Um, another big thing that people are asking for is team rebalancing. I mean, I understand it. it teams do need to be rebalanced. And I understand the challenge of basically somebody being stuck playing the Empire over and over and over and over again if teams rebalance. So it's a catch-22. So I'm kind of like on the fence. Um, I think on the whole, team rebalancing is probably better because it kind of sucks being just stuck on a bad drop zone team. or bad. This is really bad for small maps on that, that bad team that just loses over and over and over again. There needs to be some team shuffling. I and mean, there really does. Um, but if you don't do it, I understand also. A bigger thing that you could do easily though, while that is a very challenging request, very easy request would be, please, 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 add 50 to 100 points to Fighter Squadron. The game is too short now, it just, it's too short. And by the time you get poised for a comeback and you're starting to make that comeback, the game is over. I don't think, I think everybody would love to see Fighter Squadron go to 250. It's a fucking kick-ass mode. You fix the A-Wing, reduce those hero ship's health, and increase, and increase the score count to like 250. Man, that mode is awesome. That mode is fucking incredible. Um, and it's, it's going to get a lot of love. And <laughs> it's going to win a lot. And people, people will love you for it. I know I will. And um, last but least, this is a. Uh, wait, I want to say one last thing. Um, fix the fucking cycler rifle. I know I already said that. I just felt like saying it again. And the last. This is a little thing, but I would love to see the reticule 
basically the aiming reticule separated from the HUD so I could turn off the HUD and still have my reticule. That's just a little personal deal. Not, 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 not a big deal. It sure would be nice. I don't, I don't like shooting without it, but I really like to get rid of my HUD. Just personal preference. Just for me. But anyway, that's my stuff. Guys, I, I still think this is a fun, amazingly fun, kick-ass fun game. I'm having a blast in it. Um, let me know what you think. If you have any other things you feel will help balance this game, let me know in the comment section. Until next time, this is Lucky signing out. Peace. Something about that walker. It's about to target our transport.